Hi everyone, I'm Chandler Wood, Community Manager here at Avalanche Software, and it is good to be back again speaking with our community. I'm here to walk you through everything in the free summer 2024 update for Hogwarts Legacy. Our headlining feature, Photo Mode, is now available in Hogwarts Legacy. Be your own Andrew Corum, and capture screenshots of your favorite characters, moments, and locations with a huge variety of tools to customize your shot, including basic camera features like my two favorite fields, depth of field and field of view. You can adjust exposure and contrast, tilt the camera, zoom in and out, and apply a variety of filters and frames. There are filters for Gryffindors and Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws and Slytherins and filters for those who love Sebastian and Poppy and Natty and Amit. You can make your shot look like the Deathly Hallows mission and apply frames of fog and flu flames and parchment and add the game's logo or house crest. <sighs> Now, what if you want a serene view, but Seb is getting in the way while moping about the fact that he can't cure Anne? Well, you can hide NPCs, or even your own character, so they don't ruin the perfect shot. It's like Photo Mode's own little invisibility cloak. Got the perfect angle of a hippogriff soaring above the water, but wish it was sunset? You won't need a time turner to change the time of day, and you can even blanket the ground with snow by adjusting the season. Note that changing the season and time of day are only available in photo mode, and any changes will revert once you exit. It's like a pensive memory. Nothing you do inside photo mode will change the game outside photo mode. And with custom poses in photo mode, your character can finally sit. You did ask us to put sitting in the game. We've all done it. Spent talent points on something we didn't mean to. Why did I invest in Avada Kedavra Mastery? I'm a good person, right? Avada Kedavra! With the Summer 2024 update, you can reset your talent points right from the field guide. Either completely respec your build to experiment with different ways of playing, or manually undo those individual points you spent on talents that just don't fit into your play style. Stealth, am I right? It'll cost you 200 gold per talent point, however, so be mindful when determining what you want to excel in. Want to have your very own shop in Hogsmeade? Well, it's gonna take a little more than just galleons to acquire this spooky storefront. The previously exclusive Haunted Hogsmeade shop quest and its associated rewards, including the shop itself and a dapper shopkeeper's outfit to go with it, are now available on all platforms. To start the quest, look for Penny the House Elf sweeping outside the shop in Hogsmeade shortly after winter begins. You did your waiting, a year and a half of it! As a thank you to all of our players for your support and patience, the brand new, or is it old, Azkaban coat and Azkaban prisoner's outfit are free for everyone. Just log into the game to cosplay as someone escaped from possibly the most horrifying place in the entire Wizarding World. We're also finally releasing the taped up spectacles we showed off in our Easter egg video. Sorry about the mix up. Uh, apparently those have been locked away in a closet under the stairs until now. But that's not all. We're also giving everyone the previously exclusive Onyx Hippogriff Mount and Felix Felicis Potion Recipe. And one other new thing. You won't need to head over to Spint Witch's Sporting Needs to get the new Lavender Borealis Broom, but maybe go visit Albie Weeks anyway. He seems lonely. And that's your Hogwarts Legacy Summer 2024 update. Available June 6th on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Head back to Hogwarts and start capturing. Share all of your amazing in-game photography with us on social media using the hashtag CaptureTheUnwritten. You can find us at the Avalanche channels at AvalancheWB on Twitter and Instagram, find me at FinchStrife, or share with the official Hogwarts Legacy channels. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.